Today on Snapshots, we're going to hear from a few of our school social workers about the role that they play and the work that they do with students and families every day in Arlington Public Schools. So a school social worker um, not only works with students, but we also work with their families. We want students to be able to come to school and engage in learning, but sometimes in order to do so, there's a lot that has to happen behind the scenes. We refer a lot of parents out into community resources and kind of educate them on what is available to them. Our typical day is spent eliminating barriers to education in any way that we possibly can be that doing some counseling with a student or getting them some items that they need so they can participate in school, getting them a coat, getting them school supplies. So sometimes it's like that basic, right? We have to, because if a student doesn't, is unsure whether they're going to have food or a place to lay their head, they can't really focus on school. We are often involved in a number of things, including special education meetings. We take part in other general education meetings at school in order to problem solve what might be occurring with a student to figure out what we could help, what, how we can help, or what, what we can implement so that student can be more successful at school. Oh my gosh, it's been great. Um, it, it, when I first started here, I found like I spent, a, spent an awful lot of time sitting in meetings and writing reports because there are some duties that, that are mandated by the special education process. And, and I think they're beneficial, but having more social workers has meant that I spent less time working on reports and more time meeting with kids and families and helping them where the rubber meets the road. Without the additional staff, we couldn't access these services and provide these services for students the way we want to. I grew up in an Arlington Public School student. When I decided that I wanted to become a social worker, things started to fall into place. I interned here when I was in grad school. Um, and I just, I wanted to give back to, you know, a community that, that was supportive of me when I was a, a student. And so I always knew I was going to be in the helping profession, probably since I was in high school. I actually graduated from Yorktown High School here in Arlington. They had a peer mentoring program, a peer mediation program, and so I think that exposed me to psychology, counseling, mediation, and so that's what piqued my interest. So I knew from an early age that that's kind of what I wanted to do. And so I pursued it, and here I am working where I grew up. What a lot of people don't realize is that school social workers are highly trained in mental health issues and providing therapy and counseling. The social workers who are in the schools, the majority of them are licensed clinicians. We are licensed psychotherapists and we have lifelong skills that we've built up to support your students and, and to support the mental health needs and I think that is really something to highlight within our schools. I think that's fantastic. I certainly would want all of our families in our community to know that, that we are here for them and their students and their families. If there's ever a question, a concern, the families can call us, that we aren't just there to receive issue that we must attend to by way of internal staff, but families can just pick the phone up and call us. If it's something that we can't help with specifically, we'll get families going in the right direction and link them to other resources, but there's a lot that we can do, so we always want families to reach out. 